So what you're saying is, if I'm understanding you correctly, you could brute force your way through life by looking at every single thing you eat and trying to figure out the dias score for its protein. So, okay, I'm about to have a ribeye. That's going to be about a 96% dias. Uh, I'm going to have my, you know, soybeans over here. That's about an 80% dias. I'm going to have my whey isolate. That's 100% dias. I'm going to have my shredded wheats. That's a 40% dias. That's a tough way to go through life because you yeah, can't just and, add and up. And they're the not truly additive. Yeah. yeah, they're not truly additive. You can't really figure that that's out. Right. And the and the average person doesn't even have that data. I mean, if you go into the USDA database with whatever, 7,000 foods, uh, there are 4,000 that actually have amino acid scores. And of those, there's probably less than 300 that have dias scores. And so you can't put it together. Uh, there's no way. And so we're trying to develop a system that allows people to get better than that. If you, if you look on a label on a package and you see, again, a wheat cereal that says it has four grams a protein. Well, again, that's a nitrogen analysis times 6.25 for all the problems I've said. And then if you look over in another column, it'll say daily values. Yeah, exactly. And there almost no almost no label have daily values for protein because they don't that would require a PDCAS or DIAS score and nobody has them. And so that four grams really would translate into less than two, but nobody's being told that. That's right. And, and by the way, just for folks uh, who are hearing us use the term dias, that's digestible, indispensable amino acid score, correct? Yeah. Right. right. Okay. So, And I have a big problem 